Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the possibility of Cyberpunk 2077 coming to Nintendo Switch. I know it sounds crazy, but we'll talk about why it's possible after I remind you guys of our giveaways going on. We have six winners potentially this month. Uh, all the winners will be announced on October 1st. Well, what exactly are we giving away? Well, we have two separate giveaways. Uh, the first one is for a Nintendo Switch Lite. That's the grand prize. And then two second place winners will get a game of choice on Switch. To enter that, go down into the description. Uh, and there's multiple steps there and multiple ways to enter to maximize your entries, uh, including joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 a month. And then you'll get an additional 15 entries into that giveaway. And our second giveaway. So the Patreon gets you into both. Our second giveaway is for three copies of... Super Mario 3D All-Stars, baby. We're giving away three copies of that game in a separate giveaway. There's a Gleam.io link for that, as well as the additional entries from Patreon. So I wish all of you guys luck, and uh, let's get into this video. See, CD Projekt Red is widely considered one of the best game developers in the world right now. Uh, throughout this video, you're just literally watching cyberpunk footage that they have put out there uh, over and over and over again this year, various events. Uh, and the game looks absolutely incredible. It, it looks like something that is next gen, if we're completely honest. Even though it's coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox Series X, it's also going to be releasing, you know, probably better updated assets uh, for the Series X and, well, the PlayStation 5. And they did say, they said several times publicly that the PC version of this game and the PC version of all of their games will always be the best looking version. That's not too surprising, although there are cases where some people that bring their games over to PC hold it back for consoles. CD Projekt Red is not a company that does that. Now, they had Cyber Inter uh, Saber Interactive in the past bring Witcher 3 in 4K to PC, and they did a fantastic job doing that. And Saber Interactive is the company that brought Witcher 3 to Nintendo Switch, a.k.a. the Switcher. They made that version of the game, and it's widely considered one of the best AAA port jobs to switch in the entire industry i mean we, we've seen uh panic button and, and other companies do a fantastic job uh porting things to switch but the witcher 3 is the most impressive switch port to date and that was done by saber interactive a company that works closely with cd project red to provide their games on other platforms that they are not currently developing the game for typically handling pc ports and all of that jazz so uh, Cyberpunk is going to look fantastic. It's going to look next gen. It's going to look like something that isn't possible on Switch. But I'm going to give you one big reason why it might come to Switch anyways, even if obviously we're talking a year from now. It's not going to be there at launch. We're talking about next year. And the reason is because of something that recently happened. I actually put it up on NintendoPrime.com. Uh, for those who don't know, NintendoPrime.com is the uh, official website of this YouTube channel uh, where we put up news and, uh, and, and occasionally articles but usually news uh that we might not cover necessarily uh on the youtube channel including the news we do cover at the youtube channel as well but uh we, we put up a, a few extra stories there a day that aren't uh, reported here just because it's impossible for me to keep up with all of the news in a video format um in a way that is sufficient so over there uh i put up a report about uh, CD Projekt Red talking about the last fiscal quarter and the first six months of this year uh, because they had incredible profit margins. Um, they, they saw a 70% increase in revenue. And they actually credited The Witcher 3 and Switch. Here are the exact words. So CD Projekt Red Group posted 364 million PLN in sales revenue for the first half of 2020, which is a nearly 70% more than the corresponding period in 2019. So 70% increase over the first six months of last year. Notice that they didn't really have anything major release in that time. Compared to the first half of 2019, the group's net profit increased nearly threefold, reaching $147 million. So this is after everything, that's their profit margin. This improvement in our earnings compared to the past year is due, among other things, to unceasing popularity of The Witcher 3, including excellent sales of its Nintendo Switch edition, as well as releases from other games, in the Witcher universe on new hardware platforms. The late 2019 Gwent was made available to users of iOS devices with the Android release following in the first half of the current year. We are, we've also released Thronebreaker for Nintendo Switch. The mobile editions of our games, another first among us, have met with very positive reception among gamers, etc. So essentially, they released some mobile games, including some on the Switch. 
But The Witcher 3 is mentioned specifically with the sales of the Switch edition. They didn't mention The Witcher 3 sales on any other platform. It's the Switch edition that's blowing up. Now, we know back in April it sold around 700,000 copies on Switch. That was back in April. As of now, it's been a few months. You know, it could very well be over a million if that sales trend has continued. And obviously, we know the Netflix series on Switch or on, on the Netflix series of The Witcher probably helped the sales uh, a little bit as well. So, uh, yeah, and there's a new season coming. So the sales could just keep going uh, as the Netflix series continues. Now, the reason I bring this up is because this is no small feat on Switch. I know we're not talking about, you know, two, three, four million, but CD Projekt Red is developing a reputation for providing excellent games no matter what platform they put it on. And they are developing a fan base on the Switch audience with that Witcher 3 game. Remember, The Witcher 3 came over and we didn't have The Witcher 1 or 2. So there was no pre-built, established Witcher audience on Switch. People bought it on Switch. Some people as their very first Witcher game, others as a way to play a game they already own on other platforms portably. So they need to look at this as a potential audience for Cyberpunk 2077. And I know there are some caveats we have to mention. Cyberpunk 2077 is not made on the same engine as The Witcher 3. Well, sort of. The Witcher 3 is made on their red engine. The Cyberpunk 2077 is also technically made on that engine, but it's made on a next-gen version of that engine. That they, you know, I think it's... Uh, red four or something like that so it's it's built upon the same engine but it's like the next version so it's going from like unreal engine 4 to unreal engine 5 that kind of that kind of change here and saber interactive uh has not worked uh, with that engine on switch to try to get it to run and you might be like well why did they change engines they talked about all this over the over the past year or two why they had to switch engines you know going back to 2018 about um, some of the verticality they wanted in the game wasn't necessarily possible, and, and the way they wanted Night to work wasn't possible. And obviously, we know Cyberpunk 2077, you're seeing it on the screen. It looks like this would, if there's ever a game impossible to run, run on Switch, it would be this. But that's what we thought about The Witcher 3. So I, I propose to you that dial back just right. This game could run on Switch. And we've talked in the past about how any game if you're willing to dial it back enough, can run on Switch. But as we saw with The Witcher 3, which was dialed back, Saber Interactive still made it feel and look primarily like The Witcher 3 on every other platform. Yeah, lower resolution. Yeah, you know, blur your textures. But it looked and played fantastic to the tune of probably over a million people buying it and enjoying it and it getting really high reviews and tons of praise. With Saber Interactive kind of in the back pocket of CD Projekt Red for something like this, it's entirely possible that this game could come to Switch because CD Projekt Red's not going to want to bring Witcher 3 to Switch, have it sell incredibly well. I mean, their, their own words, you know, their own words of how excellent the sales were for Switch. Why would you want a one-off for that? Why would you not want to bring your next game to that platform? Now, obviously, Cyberpunk 2077 was not developed with Switch in mind. It was developed with Next Gen in mind, developed with Series X, PlayStation 4 Pro in mind. It was it was developed with powerful hardware in mind. And obviously, we had the RTX 3000 series cu cards coming. Uh, Big Navi RDNA 2.0 is coming as well uh, from uh, from AMD. So obviously, they're um, they're looking at those future technologies as well, making these games even better and better. And, all, and obviously, the massive. Um, progress that's being made in the cpu space thanks primarily to amd but now intel starting to catch up as well it's it's kind of getting crazy out there with where technology is going we got pcie 4.0 uh, we got the ssds coming in the next gen systems even though ssds have been around a while hey it's still cool that we finally have it in home consoles i do feel that cd project red is going to bring this game to switch it's it's, it's like this gut feeling i got because if they are this happy with the sales of Witcher 3 on Switch, why would they want to stop? Sure, you might say, well, they could just bring Witcher 1 and Witcher 2 over. Yes, that's a good start. But is that where the buck stops? Because Witcher 3 was their most recent like AAA release when it came to Switch. People are going to love Cyberpunk. They're going to play the hell out of Cyberpunk. And a year from now, especially since, remember, The Witcher 3 had a key feature, a key feature that really mattered. Cross saves with pc if they can somehow get cross saves to work on pc playstation 5 and xbox series x and they can make that work with switch or hello <clears throat> a next gen switch 
are we going to forget that Bloomberg has put out there that there is a 4K capable, likely through RTX core, likely through a new Tegra chip, likely through DLSS 2.0, Switch with a better screen and all that coming next year. Are we are we forgetting all the reports about a Switch Pro or a next gen Switch? Something coming that supports 4K. This is Bloomberg. Now this isn't some some mom and pop shop throwing out you know speculation to the wind. This isn't some YouTuber spouting a bunch of nonsense like Nintendo Prime here. This is literally a legit outlet in Bloomberg stating that a 4K capable Switch is coming next year. And again. For those that, that think that's just impossible, DLSS 2.0 has been proven to be able to take a 720p image and make it almost indiscernible to the naked eye over native 4K. So it can upscale 720p to 4K so well that you can't tell the difference between native 4K and DLSS 2.0 4K. That's the kind of tech that keeps Switch right in power with everyone else without needing the same power to natively hit those resolutions. Crazy, crazy world we're living in, right? So with that in consideration, with new hardware in consideration, with uh, the success of The Witcher 3 in consideration, and with the fact that CD Projekt Red is clearly pleased with the sales, to even specifically mention it, and that they are likely going to want to bring Cyberpunk to Switch even a year later so people that already own the game can now take it with them anywhere, I think that's an amazing thing, uh, and I would love to see this happen more often. Even if next-gen games come a year late to Switch, I want to see this happen. I already talked about how 2021 is going to be packed just from Nintendo's side of things. But Cyberpunk 2077 will be such a huge get that it, it really starts to eliminate excuses that other companies have for not bringing games to Switch because all CD Projekt Red had to do, had to, had to, do to prove that games can sell on Switch is bring one of your best and make it one hell of a freaking port. And if other companies followed suit, I think they could see equal sales on Switch as well, at least a million, if not more. I wouldn't be surprised if 20, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 comes out next year on Switch, and it, and it sells one, two, maybe even three million on Switch just based on the faith people have now in CD Projekt Red that might be more interested in this game over the third game in a series they maybe haven't played. Anyways, folks, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I'm incredibly excited about the prospect of this because I legitimately think this can happen, even if it's exclusive to the next-gen hardware or if it's, like, you know, still workable on the Switch. It doesn't matter. With Saber Interactive and CD Projekt Red behind it, damn, damn. I, I th This is happening, folks. I, I firmly believe it. And the rest of the industry, the Ubisoft of the world, who Ubisoft has shown consistent support for Nintendo for a while. I want to see your best of your best games. I want to see your Assassin's Creed games. I want to see uh, the Watchdog games. I want to see more and more of your content brought to Switch. Get a hold of Saber Interactive and see if they can handle it. I don't know how. I, I don't know how after The Witcher Three, they aren't your first phone call. And stop going to Virtuous. No offense to Virtuous, who has actually ported quite a few Switch games. Some of the bigger AAA games they've tried to port, they've done a really bad job. So, uh, no. Panic Button, who handled like the Doom stuff, uh, who's supposedly handling Doom Eternal. I, I'm starting to wonder if Doom Eternal is ever coming out on the Switch. But Saber Interactive, man. I think they're officially the best porting studio for Switch in the world. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.